in your speech, you talked about the disruptive trends, and I wondered if you could give us a little breakdown of what that entails. Sure. So the, the six dis disruptive trends start with um, the Internet of Things. So the Internet of Things is really smart technology, technology that starts to understand who you are, what you do, um, and can be proactive in shipping information to you or disseminating information to you. So um, maybe it understands your interests and your likes and starts to email you things that are of interest or things that may be of entertainment for you. Um, we see that in the HR world as how do I get in front of a candidate and disseminate information that's going to really resonate with them. Um, the second area is augmented reality and we're already seeing that. Uh, we're seeing that with uh, some vendors here but augmented reality will allow organizations to, again, arm candidates with information about their company from a remote perspective. So imagine putting on ocular glasses and seeing a visual of what an office looks like, meeting some of the staff and so forth. Uh, the next area is artificial intelligence, which we're also seeing in play, but we think that's gonna take a much more advanced role. So right now you've got chatbots. Uh, we see it looking into more of a scheduling capability. Um, and really who knows where it could go, but it's already got its foundation and it's just gonna grow. Um, the next area, um, drones. So drones is kind of an interesting area because we're seeing it within manufacturing companies that are using drones to analyze and inspect their um, materials, be it an airplane, be it a uh, construction site. Uh, we're seeing retailers use it to monitor traffic in their uh, parking lots to understand the, the ups and downs of the, 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 the customers as they shop. Um, the fifth area is Bitcoin and blockchain. I'm still a little bit new, but we do see this perhaps disrupting agencies um, it'll give companies more control over their interactions with um, contingent workers, um, but really it's a central location to manage um, uh, interactions between two parties and eliminates that third party. And then the last area um, is uh, the internet platform itself. So if you think about companies like Amazon, Facebook, LinkedIn, they all started as a singular product. So Facebook was social media, LinkedIn was business. Uh, Amazon was just books, but they've all expanded based upon uh, their users' requirements and their users' interests to become more of a marketplace. And we see that happening within HR, not only for external candidates, but also for internal candidates. Right now, internal employees, uh, it's pretty limited to what positions are open, but now they may be able to look at stretch assignments, benefits, they may be looking at extended vacations, sabbaticals. So again, all of this, the commonality amongst all of this is, is having a central location to manage data to understand your external job seekers and your internal job seekers.